Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most destructive conflicts in European history, the Thirty Years' War. This war ravaged the continent from 1618 to 1648, and it wasn't just about religion or politics. It shaped the future of Europe in ways that are still felt today. Stick around to find out how a series of seemingly local disputes spiraled into one of the longest and deadliest wars in history. The roots of the Thirty Years' War can be traced back to the Protestant Reformation in the early 16th century. By the early 1600s, Europe was divided between Catholic and Protestant states, and the tension was simmering beneath the surface. The Holy Roman Empire, a loose confederation of states in Central Europe, was a powder keg waiting to explode. Add in the struggle for political control, and you had the perfect recipe for disaster. At the center of it all was the new Holy Roman Emperor, Ferdinand II, a devout Catholic who wanted to restore Catholic dominance across his empire. But many of his subjects, especially in Bohemia, were Protestant, and in 1618, things came to a head. It all kicked off with an event that sounds almost too wild to be true, the defenestration of Prague. In May 1618, Protestant nobles in Bohemia were furious about Ferdinand's anti-Protestant policies. They stormed the royal castle and threw two of the emperor's Catholic officials out of a window. This act of defiance sparked the beginning of a rebellion. What started as a regional conflict in Bohemia soon drew in major European powers, turning it into a full-blown continental war. Over the next three decades, the war expanded far beyond the Holy Roman Empire. Catholic and Protestant states across Europe took sides. The conflict sucked in countries like Spain, France, Sweden, and Denmark. What's crazy is that the war often had more to do with politics and power than religion. Catholic France, for example, supported Protestant forces just to weaken the Habsburgs, who were their main rivals. The war was fought on a massive scale. Armies roamed across the land, looting, burning, and destroying. Entire regions were depopulated, with millions of civilians dying from famine, disease, and violence. Some estimate that Central Europe lost up to 20% of its population during the conflict. After 30 years of bloodshed, exhaustion finally set in. In 1648, diplomats from all sides met to negotiate peace, and what came out of it was the famous Peace of Westphalia. The treaty had lasting consequences for Europe. The Peace of Westphalia established new principles of state sovereignty and non-interference, setting the stage for the modern nation-state system. It also allowed rulers to choose the religion of their own states, meaning Catholic and Protestant states would coexist, at least in theory, but the scars of the war would remain for generations. So that's the Thirty Years' War, a devastating conflict that reshaped Europe. It began as a religious war, but quickly turned into a struggle for political power that left a deep mark on the continent. If you enjoyed this dive into history, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And let me know in the comments what historical event should I cover next.